What's up guys, it's Isabella back with another video on the Rideshare Hub. Today we're going to be talking about why Instacart drivers get deactivated and how you can get reactivated if this has happened to you. So if you want to learn more, be sure to keep watching. A big reason drivers will get deactivated is because their documents aren't up to date. Okay, you want to go on the app and you want to make sure that your driver's license, your car registration, like any documents you need to make your account is all up to date because uh, you want to also catch it before it expires so you can prevent getting deactivated. That way you're not left with like a period of time where you have to wait while your documents are being uploaded and you have to wait to get approved. So better to just do that and like make sure you're on time doing that. Another big reason that drivers will get deactivated is getting a false report. There's so many instances where your passenger or your customer will try to get a free ride and they'll report you so that they can get a refund, okay? This is why it's important to have a dash cam because if you can have that solid like video evidence that you were not doing anything wrong to your passenger, okay? Then if you do happen to get deactivated, you will have that proof, okay? Unfortunately, this happens all the time of, you know, customers or passengers like making some kind of complaint about you. Another important thing to keep in mind, you wanna make sure your rating is Good. every app has like a different rating you need to have um, in order to be eligible to drive but you know mate whether it's false complaints or real complaints you want to make sure you have a good enough rating because drivers do get deactivated if your rating goes below a certain threshold so yeah basically just try to avoid getting reported and try to avoid getting low ratings okay if you're a good driver if you're a good service you shouldn't have to worry about that unless it's of course a false rating and a false complaint as we already talked about otherwise just make sure you're being like a good driver <laughs> i don't know how else to put it you could also get deactivated for having too many cancellations if you're constantly canceling your trips or your like deliveries or whatever you are at risk of getting deactivated. Sometimes drivers get deactivated for not being able to do the selfie verification or sometimes the selfie verification has its own issues and that will get drivers deactivated. There are so many just random reasons that a driver will get deactivated whether it's the driver's fault or not. Okay, there's just things like, you know, failed background check, you know, you violate one of their codes of conduct, unsafe driving, letting someone else use your driver account or having someone else in the car with you while you're driving. So yeah, there are lots of different reasons why a driver get, get deactivated. But if you wanna know how to get reactivated if this has happened to you, then make sure to keep watching. Okay, so in the event that your driver account has been deactivated for any of the reasons previously stated, this is what you need to do, okay? You wanna go in the app and press help and try to get in contact with someone through the app, okay? if you believe that you were wrongfully deactivated, then hopefully you'll be able to get in contact with someone or be able to make some type of appeal. Okay, all, most of these apps do have an appeal form and you can be, you can find the appeal form online and fill that out and give them reasons why you should be reactivated. Let's say that you were wrongfully deactivated and you have like dash cam footage or you have screenshots or anything that can help prove that you did nothing wrong you should attach those in your appeal another important thing to keep in mind is just to use like good grammar proper grammar and proper spelling because you know you're trying to get these people to be on your side you don't want to have bad grammar and bad spelling it's just more professional that way now let's say you've tried emailing them or you've tried contacting them through the app or you've tried doing the appeal form and you get no response another little hack you can do to try to get in contact with them is talk to them through twitter i mean i know it's now known as x <laughs> twitter x you know what i'm talking about most of these apps have like a twitter account where you can message them you can tweet at them so that is a good way to try to get in contact with them i know people have had a way better response rate through twitter so that's definitely something worth checking out is if all else fails another thing as i stated before make sure you have a dash cam in your car this is just for your own safety um you know maybe passenger safety just it's like having a security camera in your car and if you happen to get into an accident you can have footage from the outside as well to prove that it like the accident wasn't your fault if it wasn't and in the case that you are not able to get reactivated 
let's say it was genuinely your fault that you got deactivated it's always good to be signed up for multiple apps okay you don't want to just be on one app you know try to build up your profile on multiple apps so if you do get deactivated then you have another app to go to and you don't have to like spend time waiting to get approved you can just start right away um always want to have a backup plan because you never really know what happened to your account anyways guys i hope this was helpful to you if you got deactivated i'm so sorry also for anyone who has been deactivated and got reactivated comment down below how you were able to do that and like what helped you get your driver account back anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and i will see you guys in the next video bye